Okay, it's Saturday, May 28th, 2022. I'm here in Santa Maria, California at Santa Maria Fair Park for the West Coast Customs Cruise and Nationals 2022. Uh, lots of great cars here. I haven't been to this event in many years since back when it was still up in Paso Robles. Uh, so definitely it's gonna be a treat for me to, uh, to come back to this event after so many years. Uh, lots of awesome cars here, lots of cool stuff to see. It's all pre-1965, so don't complain to me there's no Chevelles. Uh, unless they're early ones, I guess. But uh, for now, let's go check this one out. So you can see there's a lot of cars here. It actually goes through the entire uh, fair park here, which is, of course, where they have the uh, county fair here every year. Uh, there's music in the background, so I will try to edit accordingly to uh, get it to uh, clear copyright. So if we ever hit a point in the video where I'm near speakers, I usually cut it. So unfortunately, I have to cut the video uh to be kind of choppy so like i said uh, next week we are doing the all gm car show in woodland hills at the warner center park i don't know what i'm doing saturday at that one's on sunday saturday i've got several choices i may just do the uh, gilmore heritage show at the farmer's market slash the grove in LA. That's that's not set in stone yet. I'm, I'm definitely doing the GM show though. So those are the shows I'm doing next week. Following week there's a uh, Road Kings event and I think I had something written down for Saturday but I can't remember what yet. So I said I don't know if the music's too close to be picked up so I'm, I'm short clipping it a bit. But uh I'll try to bring you all the cars here, such as this, and trucks, such as the Chevy. Now, this is a great event because it really draws people from all over the world. A lot of cars from all up and down the West Coast, and pretty much there's people even coming from, uh, you know, east of here. It says this has been a, a pretty major event for many years. Nice 54 Chevy uh, convertible. So there's a lot of, I mean, June just has a ton of events. It's, it's more like picking and choosing. July I filled in the calendar, but there wasn't as much to choose from as the, the car show scene on the West Coast kind of dies off a little bit when it gets hot. Nice 59 Chevy Parkwood station wagon. Tell you what, as fairground shows go, this one's like the easiest to park and to get into that I've ever been to. <laughs> versus Pomona and Pleasanton and Orange County. It's a custom uh, Lincoln Capri. It's like a 54. Just a very clean custom. I'm not gonna try to get in there with those guys, but roll right into this uh, 58 Chevy. You don't see the two-door Bel Air hardtops very often. I used to drive a four-door sedan 58 every day, probably about 20 years ago. There's a 55 Pontiac Safari with original patina. Definitely not something you see every day. See, it's got a little highway patrol uh, inspection on there. 
I used to find a lot of cars with those and the old smog inspection stickers from the early 70s. And I just, I just don't see that stuff hardly anymore. Give you a good look on the interior. You got Mickey Mouse in there, and there's about the only Chevelle you're gonna see here, because this the show's pre-1965 only. So I should warn you. So this might actually be the only Chevelle in this video, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give it a good look that's a very nice example of a 64 Malibu very clean uh, Chevy Suburban so he's got his uh, stereo head in there like a tissue dispenser Custom lowered uh, C10 Chevy. See the amount of work that's been done. That's nice, uh, early 60s uh, Mercury. Uh, Ford F100 short bed. A 62 Chevy. This one's a Bel Air two or post. Forty Chevy Coupe. Budweiser panel complete with a uh, bottle cap air cleaner. It's completely uh, Budweiser themed. There's a uh, 66 Chevy panel that's done up. He says it's not an original Helms truck, but it's done up like a uh, Helms Bakery truck, which was a uh, bakery in Los Angeles. You can see he's even got all the uh, stuff for the bakery. All your donuts and pastries. And a nice uh, 56 Chevy. The owner's still hanging out inside. A neat old Buick. This would be, I don't know if it's original paint, but it's old paint. Get the uh, dual cow there. This one is a 37 model. So we got the speedometer there for the uh, rear seat passenger so they can complain about how fast you're driving. A 36 Packard. This one has a air ride suspension, which is visible to see. It's a 39 Lincoln Zephyr Coupe. The 31 Ford Model A hot rod that's Chevy powered. So 
is a 32 Ford hot rod with small block Ford power. A 41 Chevy with the uh, roof cut off. It's like it's an older custom that someone's probably put back on the road. With this uh, 49 Ford convertible. A very clean uh, 57 Bel Air. Yeah, you'll see. Okay. Not sure if that color is going to come up, but it's very bright. It's a clean uh, 63 Impala. There's a more traditional uh, Ford Coupe hot rod. The early small block Chevy. It's a custom 64 Buick Riviera. We have the lace work on the top there. That's 33 Ford. Look at this uh, 56 Chevy. A Chevy Fleet Line, complete with a uh, creepy clown. Lots of patina. Used to be an older uh, logo. Uh, look at the uh, carburation setup on this one. Very clean Chevy Tudor heart up. You look at the uh, roof on this Cadillac. So you've got skulls in it and dice and everything else. It's 1956 Chevrolet station wagon. Little uh, 63 Nova convertible. The original straight six. Neat Chevy pickup. Lots of flames on this uh, 47 Ford convertible. Sixty-five Chevy C10 long bed. Yeah, 
So this Custom started out as a 1940 Chevrolet. Nineteen fifty Ford shoebox. Says all the custom work was done on it in the fifties. So this one started out as a 1936 Ford. A 1960 Ford Starliner to her top. Fifty nine Chevy Viz King two door sedan. Thirty five for Little 63 Buick special convertible. A 63 Chevy Impala. Nineteen fifty three Chevy. It's another custom Ford shoe box. Be a good look. You look inside here. Nineteen forty one Lincoln. Fifty-eight Impala. A 
This one started out as a 1946 Mercury. This is a uh, 1950 Mercury Custom. See with a DVD player there in the back. I'm guessing this was built in the 90s, judging by the DVD player. I think we're far enough from the music where I don't have to short clip as much. Of course, I still get into that rhythm sometimes where I'll just short clip it even if the music is further away. That was 54 Mercury. So this show brings out a lot of just amazing custom vehicles. As you can imagine, this one's a 1950 Mercury known as the Duke of Earl. David has a uh, telephone in there. That was like a thing back in the uh, late 50s, early 60s at car shows to put a phone in your car, even if it wasn't hooked up. It's a very cool custom 60 Chevy Impala. I really don't think this video is gonna do justice to like all the custom work that's been done on this car. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like it even has a chop in it. Look at the detail on this. So it just wouldn't be possible to bring you all the detail of this car. It's just Cadillac grill. So it's a 1947 Buick. Another 50 custom Merc. Yeah, I like that guy's Nineteen forty four Deluxe Coupe. Yes, I still have mine and I'm still planning to get to it. As soon as finances allow. So I can just look to this one as inspiration. Any Model A pickup. There's another one that just has a lot of detail. Doing a still in the back. Custom uh, 1936 Ford. You see, some of these guys came to say Texas. I think that last Model A was from Connecticut. People come from literally all over for this show. Many come every year. It's definitely was worth the trip up the coast. 37 Ford with a uh, 80s uh, Corvette motor. Is there any 
coffee in here? No. A 53 Chevy. Let me close the trunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's oh. close the trunk. Too late. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> go for it. There it is. There you go. Let me bring you all the trunk closures here on the uh, on this channel, <laughs> I suppose. Right away, and then we'll roll into this Ford. It's a 57 Ford Ranchero that's been chopped. This 58 Chevy pickup with a uh, dump bed on it. Get in the way. A Ford uh, coupe with a nail head with all the period parts on it. It's been taken down to steel and clear coated. Nineteen forty one Packard Custom. So actually, I just ran into a guy from the uh, Rambler Club down in LA. So I guess we are doing we're going to do more SoCal Rambler meets this summer. So stay tuned for those. That was a uh, 1936 Auburn. Give you an idea of what's going on there. I'm talking about something that's like you look at it, but I'm going to get up. It's an Edsel speedometer cluster, 1958 Edsel cluster. If there's only a guy that's owned a bunch of Edsels would recognize that. It's a little Jeep uh, ice cream truck, step man, fleet man, whatever it is. This thing is very, 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 very cool. Old Peanuts lunchbox there. Nineteen fifty six Chevy panel delivery. Unfortunately, we have a band now, so it's a lot easier. Shut the microphone shift knob there. So it is a band in the background, so I'll be able to film longer clips now. According to the uh, thing on the dash, there, this was originally a nineteen fifty seven Ford. Two steering wheels for your uh, driver's ed class, I suppose. And you can see the, uh, that's definitely 57 Ford right there. For the exhaust exit out the where the taillights normally go. I wonder if it actually drives from both sides. That would be interesting. A uh, 1956 Chevy Nomad. A 
This guy, this one's from Hawaii, so I'm guessing he shipped it in for the show. Well, he definitely didn't drive it here. Nineteen fifty-two GMC pickup. The guitar. He's got some records back there. Those aren't good for leaving out in the sun. I still have my record channel. I just haven't posted on it in a while. I haven't really had time to go out and look for records. But. I actually did sell some records while I was at uh, Viva Las Vegas. Sold a few Rockabilly records for my collection. Another 44 Deluxe Coupe. So I'm really hoping things get a little bit better towards the end of the year and I can start spending some money on mine. A square body step side pickup. Either like a 348 or a 409. Not something you'll see every day. Chopped and lowered and full custom suspension. This uh, Munsters coach, obviously not the original one. I know we saw this at a show recently. I'm just, I think it was at the Culver City show, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I want to see a tribute to the uh, Munsters coach. Uh, 1956 Ford F100 pickup. It's another one that so much detail it would be hard to get it all in a video. It's 1960 Pontiac. It's been heavily chopped. Tons of detail. This roadster.
54 Chevy. Yeah, this one has so many custom touches. The back deck there. Another 1960 Pontiac, but this one without a radical chop on it. Do with the Astro Supremes. A uh, 63 Ford Falcon.
1936 Chevy Coupe. and flames on this Mercury. The chopped uh, 61 Plymouth. Not a car you see very often. That hat, that hat makes zero sense to me. Really? Yeah. I, I believe it, but I, it makes zero sense. 1951 Chevy. Oh, sorry, 1950 Chevy. Early 60s cars are looking headlights. Still a lot to see here at the show. Why is she holding your water? I don't know. She doesn't know about it. I just forgot. I think right now we have a band playing, so I'm going to try to freestyle a little bit so we can... ...get more in quicker, because it's actually been been taking me a while to film this. I've been talking to a lot of people, and... And of course, the whole first section of the show I had a short clip... ...due to copyright, which does take longer. A neat Nash. All right, all right. But I do all this just like I bring you these great car shows. And I think this is gonna probably be one of those that uh, I'm gonna try to hit every year. Because there's just so much amazing stuff here.
I think we've seen this truck somewhere before. I think this was at Good Guys in Pleasanton. This is like a San Francisco Giants team. I'm oh, sorry, it's Harley Davidson team. I thought it was San Francisco Giants team. Although I'm a Dodger fan, so. Fifty-six Chevy wagon. So I said next weekend. I don't know what I'm doing Saturday yet. May do the Gilmore Heritage Show. Now, there's a big show up here in Pismo Beach, but uh, I just don't think I'm going to be able to make it back up here again. There's definitely a lot of shows to choose from. I'm sure wherever you live. We're getting into summer, and that's when all the shows are starting up. Lots of cool stuff to see out there. There's a very blue shoebox. Early Riviera. Yeah. I'm 100 percent sure this is post 65, but it's here anyway. This uh, Chevy C10 short bed. Thought I read it was uh, pre 65 only, but whatever. <laughs> Sixty one Pontiac convertible. The crowds are actually filling in pretty good here, so I'll try to get you what shots I can. Tell you what though, this band has been playing quite a long time <laughs> without taking a break, that's for sure. <laughs> Those who don't know, you can still flag for covers, but it's it's not as likely as original recordings. Yeah. 
There's a 54 Chevy. So it's got a bit of a chop to it. It's an 841 Cadillac. Steering wheel. I don't know if that's going to show up in the uh, video. Another 1960 Ford Starliner. I don't know if the effect on the roof's going to come through, but usually they do. I always say that and it always looks cool on video anyway, especially when the sun hits it right. Couple Pontiacs. Four in the morning, all that's down here. We got here, you know. Yeah, the main thing is this Riviera is pretty wild. They're building my 36, so those guys, they can make that hood up. They make that hood up. I just didn't know if somebody repopped that. Cylinder Cummins diesel. If you like rat rods? Check out my Rat City Ruckets video from about a month ago. This was out in Las Vegas. Lots of amazing cars at that that event. This Plymouth that looks like it's been sitting out in the desert for many years and brought home and put back on the road. It's about the best way I can describe it. It's got bowl holes and everything. Zephyr.
exceptional. And this clear coated Studebaker pickup with Toyota power. Something that's a bit different. Any Roadster? Just a reminder, the LA Roadsters is coming up in June, so I'll be filming that, I believe, on Friday. Yeah. And that Saturday, there's actually the Pasadena Police show that I usually do every year. I've never filmed it, though. I've always just gone. I think the band is wrapping up, so if that is the case, we will have copyrighted music and the clips will get short again until another band goes on. All right, so now we got the copyright music again, so I'm gonna have to be careful. So that we will do the short clips. Sometimes when I blend them just right, they look good though, so. All right, so I decided to shoot a different area where there's no sound system. On the off chance that another band starts playing and then I can go back over there and film that. Sort of a trick. Avoid the music and wait for a band by hitting another area with no music. So this really is a massive show. Look at the Suburban. Clean C10. This Pontiac convertible. Right, because I couldn't find it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the gas prices. Nicely patinaed coupe. Got playing music back there, so I'll be careful. Right now, it is what it is. 
Now we're going to show you some more of this nice vehicle, Let's try to avoid the music. Which is humanly possible. Cell convertible. Plymouth. So there's just still tons of cars here. I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to be able to get everything. Bright yellow 56 Chev. A bright orange Ford Coupe. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Oh, I, I did see that. that. I saw this. Now we're getting a really nice breeze here. It's actually a really nice day for a car show. This is a Baker Lark with 57 Ford quarters and taillights. It's a 1937 Nash with a Hemi in it. 
Okay, good see you. Okay, yeah, dinner for sure. We're yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is 1940 Mercury. Some of these cars. There's the airplane music back there, so I'll stay away as much as possible. So it's actually 12:30. I've been here about four hours or so already shooting. Shooting and talking to people mostly. <laughs> so. I know this is a car show, so it's probably gonna start clearing out around two. So I will try to get as much as possible. In fact, some cars have actually left already. I will see if you're thinking about doing this event. Well, that's good. I would say try to get a hotel room and do multiple days, do the cruise Friday night. And get to the show early. It's four and nine in Paula. It's like a Packard. I believe they're out here tomorrow again. They actually have a, in this area where I'm at right now is actually the swap meet on Sunday. So they do a swap meet. Is it, we, we saw this I'm debating, I may be filming a car show. Actually, I saw this car on the way up here. This guy, uh, I saw this car on the freeway in Ventura on the way up this morning. So, I may be doing a show tomorrow, I don't know yet, so I don't want to announce which show I might be doing in case I don't do it, but if I do that, that one will post on Wednesday. No idea how long it's going to take me to get this one up, because I'm sure I'm going to fly for some sort of music. I've not heard a band start up at the other uh, side where I was earlier. I'm going to try to film as much of the show as I can. Either way, I still have to drive all the way back to Pasadena tonight. And I'm sure I'll hit some sort of holiday traffic on the way home, but and if I do, maybe I'll just uh, take it easy and stop somewhere. This is about the one show I've filmed lately where I don't have to be back for something. <laughs> so, that's kind of nice. This uh, beautiful Zephyr.
And the Cadillac. But it's like, it's quiet. Otherwise, you're not And then freaking a rent to be sold on a farm or something. Zephyr's a bit modified. It's like a, it's a uh, 59 Ford. I guess I it's a custom series. So I said my buddy Chuck got the uh, 59 Galaxy that I saved from getting crushed. Because he really wanted it. Oh, there's one at every show. Throw back to the 90s. <laughs> That's when those crybaby dolls were popular. <laughs> Nobody still is sure why. This 56 uh, Plymouth station wagon. Angeles Lowrider Super Show video I shot a couple months ago. Basically, it was the Long Beach Convention Center, just packed full of Lowriders. That was another one that I just estimated how much time I had to shoot everything. I'd say I shot about 90 95% of that show. She likes the color. There's a car I see around LA a lot. That 57 Ford. And one of the car clubs over there brought their own sound system, so I gotta be mindful of that.
It's 55 Crown Victoria. Nineteen fifty-nine Chevy El Camino. Of course a Corvair. Actually I did see this van on the highway on the way up here as well. I just drove my Grand Marquis. I just rolled over a hundred thousand miles on that car, so I put twenty-five thousand miles. A lot of those miles were driving out to shows to film them for the channel. That's one I'm gonna have to short clip due to the music in the background, but I just had to bring you this awesome step van. So there are some cars leaving. I'm gonna get what's left here and try to get back into that other area that I didn't finish. There's another area I didn't even get, so. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get this as quickly as I can while the show is still going on. This 39 Ford convertible. Oh, thanks. Alright, so this is Ken from the Rambler Club's Ford, which makes sense, I guess. Um, so I'm going to have to short clip, but I told him I'd put his car in the video. I said, I got a short clip, and I got literally like two different music sources coming at me at once. Back in the area was it earlier in the day, and uh, now they're doing an auction, so there's no music. So get as much of this as possible. So I need uh, 61 Buick. So unfortunately, instead of uh, music, now you're going to hear auctioneering in the background. <laughs> At least we don't get flagged for auctioneering. Oh, there's uh, still Johnny Cash playing in a, one of the little fairground speakers right now. At least I can bring you some more of the show. Four hundred and twenty-five dollars. 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 Four hundred and twenty-five dollars.
passed away a few years ago, Trent. Yeah, we're going to be a good and speaking of Buicks, uh, like I said, we'll be at the uh, All GM show June 5th, put on by the SoCal Buick Club in Woodland Hills. That's 50, now 75. I'm 50 now, 75, 75. That's 50 now, 75, 75. I got 50 with Rick now, 75. That's 50 now, 75, 75. That's 50 now, 75, 75. That's 75, 100. That's 75, that's 100. That's 75, 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 I met this guy and he signed it, yes. Hi Doreen. What's really cool about it to me is my grandson. At 75 now 100, at 75 100. At 75 now ask him 100. At 75, give me 80 then. At 75, 80. At 75, 80. At 80 now, 85. Next year you can have my job. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Jose, Got the metal flag on this Mercury. It's like Cheech is here. At 50 now, 75, 75. At 50 now, 75, 75, 100. At 75 now, 100. At 75, ask an 100. At 75, 100. 75 now, 1. At 75, 1, 1 now, 1 quarter. At 1 now, 1 quarter, 1 quarter now, 1 half. Half now, 175. Number 19. This is a variegated gold leaf and striping on a cool panel. This is by Tour Leaf Cars, right over there, the man, the myth, the, uh, soon to be legend. Tour, yeah, it's soon to be legend. $50, you're waiting. Yep, we're going to bring you another early Riviera. This is a bitching skateboard, as Gene would say. Very nice really car. Pretty. This is by Daniel Rivera. Daniel's sitting down in front here with his wife and his new baby. And uh, Daniel, I, I didn't know this. You're working with Pete. Huh? He's working with Pete. Hot Dog Pete was a uh, long time Jesse James painter. Give me a hundred. Let's get her to go. Let's get her to go. Let's get her to go. Alright. Oh, look at you. 
right, so we're almost uh, on our way out the door here. I've actually been here almost six hours filming this. Have not had lunch. So this has been a pretty good marathon for me. Nice 60 El Camino. All right, so I've been here for six hours, so I think we're gonna wrap things up right there for the 2022 Santa Maria Cruiser Nationals put on by West Coast Customs here at the Santa Maria Fair Park. Uh, lots of great cars here. I'd say I got about 80 or 90% of the show. There's no way to film every single car here. It's just such a massive show. Well worth checking out if you have a chance to actually check it out in person in the future. And be sure to like, subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot of other great car shows coming up for you in the future. Uh, leave a comment as to what your favorite car was. Uh, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.